Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me uh, this Friday as we wrap up our week of Life Lifters. The whole purpose and goal of Life Lifters is to give your life a lift through a five-minute blast of encouragement and scripture. Now, this week, we're talking about living a no more excuses life, and we we're giving you principles on how to stop making excuses because last Sunday, we are in a series called Moving Forward in Life, and um, we saw how Moses made four big excuses and how God answered each one of those excuses with the truth. And Moses ended up leading Israel out of Egypt uh, to the threshold of the promised land. And if you don't have a church to attend, we'd love to see you on Sunday as we continue our series moving forward in life. And if you want to move forward in life, man, you definitely want to check out our church uh, this Sunday as we continue our journey of moving forward in the series Moving Forward in Life, Moses and the Exodus and Life Lessons from that. But anyway, back to the point, we're talking about how to live a no more excuses life and today I want to remind you of this. If God is for you, you can change. If God is for you, you can change. We've been using the book of Romans chapter 8 to give us principles and here's what I want to look at, Romans 8. 31. Look at what it says. What then shall we say in response to all of this? And all of this is what Paul has said previously in Romans chapter 8. We've cherry-picked some of the ideas throughout the week. He says this. What shall we say in response to all this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Now, whenever you ask a question in English, there's room for options. Whenever you ask a question in Greek, um, there are questions that demand a positive answer and questions that demand a negative answer. Think about this one. If God is for us, who can be against us? That's a question that demands a negative answer. The answer, no one. If God is for you, nobody can be against you. It doesn't mean you won't have people against you. It means that if God is for you, no one who is against you can be against you in a way that will keep you from growing and becoming more and more like Jesus, which is the goal of life. So here's all I want to say. If you need to make changes in your life, if you need to stop making excuses because you can't change, here's the thing you need to remember. God is for you. If you are a Christian, God is for you. If you seek God and find God through faith alone in Jesus Christ, God will be for you. He's not against you. You, have, you might have family who are against you. You might have friends who are against you, but if you have a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ, through faith in him, believing that he is 100% God, 100% man, died on the cross for your sins, rose again. You believe that in your head, and then finally, most importantly, receive it in your heart. God's for you. He's for you. He's with you. He wants you to win. He wants you to grow. He wants you to change so you don't have to make excuses in your life. God is for you. Do you believe that? Do you believe that God is for you? You say, I'm not yet a Christian. Guess what? God's for you becoming a Christian. He's pulling for you. He wants you to become a Christian. It's a divine mystery between him choosing you and us choosing him. And I don't understand it fully, but I know this, that God is not willing that anybody turn their back on him. He wants you to be in relationship with him through Jesus so that he could be for you. God is for you. Who could be against you? Life can't be against you. Enemies can't be against you. Friends can't be against you. World can't be against you. God is for you. And I hope you'll go into this week on remembering that God is so for you. If God is for you, who can be against you? What a great thought. Let's pray and let's have that thought saturate our thinking and our mind. Thank you, Lord, that you are for us and that you're for us and not against us. We don't deserve it, and it's only available through your son, Jesus. Thank you. Help the fact that you are for us. Help us to live a more godly life every day, to be more like your son, Jesus, so that we have less to make excuses about in our life, not about perfection, but about the direction of our life. Thank you, Lord. What an amazing, stunning thought that you are for us. Help us to cling to it, remember it every moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I hope this week of Life Lifters has helped you, and um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And again, if you're looking for a church home, we would love to have you here at Lakeshore. Have a great day.